Hey everyone, welcome to Canon Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to explore the world of Canon printers. Canon printers are able to do much more than just print documents. Are you ready to know your printer? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ross from Canon USA. So let's dive right in and learn about what you can do with your printer. Do you work from home? If so, you're probably using your printer for, well, for work. All work and no play is a saying for a reason. So did you ever think that your printer can do more than just work? Hey Ross, what else can I do with my Canon inkjet printer? How about personalized cards? When it comes time to send out cards or letters, I like to print them at home. That personal touch can go a long way in making sure that the card feels extra special. I can even print the address and return labels because my handwriting is, well, terrible. Here's a pro tip. Whenever you're printing something special, always make sure to check the print dialog box to make sure you have the correct paper, media settings, and that the quality is set to the best it can be. Feeling crafty? How about a project from Canon's Creative Park? If the weather outside is telling you to stay indoors, why not try your hand at some origami, educational, and fun activities that will not only keep your children busy, but can also decorate your home. You can access these projects from a desktop computer or via the free Creative Park app on compatible mobile devices. Do you ever need to scan something to your computer or compatible mobile device? The printer I'm working with today has a flatbed scanner. So if I need to scan in a document or even a photo to my collection, I'm all set. I can scan from the control panel of the printer or from the free Canon Print Inkjet Selfie app. Hey, become a style icon. I love creating my own designs and putting them on t-shirts. I use Canon's light fabric iron-on transfer paper and I can print out my custom design on the transfer paper, grab an iron in a t-shirt or any cotton fabric, and then I'm all set with my latest fashion creation. Look, it's bug! Here's another pro tip. Whenever you're using the Canon light fabric iron-on transfers, always check your print dialog box to make sure the image is reversed. So when you apply the iron to the sheet, your design comes out correctly. If you don't see this option when you select t-shirt transfers, do a test print on plain paper first then reprint on the transfer paper when all adjustments have been made. What? Uh, yeah, photos. What about photos? Well, grab your favorite Canon photo paper and make the memories come alive. Today, I'm printing on the Pixma TS 6420 wireless inkjet all-in-one printer. So I have the option of printing photos in many different sizes. I also have the option to print borderless photos in these sizes, 4x6, 5x7, 5x5, 8x10, and 8.5x11. And I can also choose from a variety of finishes, including glossy 2, semi-gloss, luster, or matte. Here's another pro tip. If you're not sure which side to print on, Look at both sides of the paper and then print on the brighter side. When handling your paper, make sure you don't put a crease in it. Thanks for joining us on Quick Tips. I hope you were inspired to get creative with your Canon printer. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And as always, please be sure to leave a comment or a question down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks again for joining us on Quick Tips and have fun creating. And thanks for watching.